Fantasy Bear here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And today, we are actually gonna be moving way, way back to basically where we started the game. Uh, a lot of you have been letting me know some of the ways you've gotten to the fourth shrine, and a lot of you have suggested to me that I uh, should take this path, like like around here at the start of the game, right? Um, that there's this main path along the way, and that we should just sort of take it back, and I guess I mean this, right? because this sort of leads into it. So I'm gonna guess that we should check this out and just sort of follow it, because a lot of the main paths, they obviously lead you somewhere important. That's why they're sort of laid out. So I feel like we should just do that. Maybe that's something I'm sort of missing out on a lot of the time, is that I don't really follow the main paths at all. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the iron sledgehammer. I'm sure it'll be helpful. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun to go back to some of the original areas in the game that we just haven't explored in a little while. Uh, maybe we should try from this shrine, because I think I wanna go way back to the starting area. Uh, let me sort of see how it is, man, it's been a while. I'm sure it'll be fun, so I'm excited for it. But uh, maybe that's really something I need to sort of take a habit in. Usually I look into the horizon, and I see something that's cool, and I just run to it. I make a straight line to it, but maybe I'm missing things out while I do that. Maybe I should follow the uh, map's main paths, and maybe that would be a little bit easier. Uh, shield surfing, if you jump all your shields out, you can climb aboard it using A. Okay. I try to do that, I usually fail, but I'll try it again soon. So is this the shrine I should have moved to? I'm not sure. Because I don't know if it's raining fireballs everywhere, but I should at least check it out. Maybe I can make some progress one way or another. But yeah, it's quite cold up here. As long as I have the uh, do blood on, which I currently do, we should at least be able to get back to like maybe a bit more of a starting area. Oh, I do see a shrine way down there. Good to keep that in mind. I mean, usually that's what I sort of move my way out to get is uh, the different shrines and stuff. Man, we can really move it though, this is great. Oh man, this brings me back. I am sort of a little confused on Shrine of Resurrection. I guess this is where we start the game, huh? Okay. Well, I don't have to go all the way back now, there now, do I? <laughs> if I can save some time, I will gladly do so. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna try to make our way around and Explore, try to get to that main path, and I think we'll have a good time, no matter what. We'll definitely be exploring, to some extent, into a new area. So that'll be very cool. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely pointing out that shrine. Oh, you know what? I need to kill this habit that I have of not doing anything about it. Where'd it go? Mark that. Because I probably wanna unmark these other things that most likely I accidentally stamped. Half the time, that's usually true. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out how to play the game. But yeah, this is where the path sort of begins. Usually we can't explore this because we don't have the gliding tool. But now we do. So I'm just sort of gonna make our way down here. This is definitely an area I just have not explored. And I don't know if it'll be very difficult, very easy, or somewhere in the middle. Oh, but there is this guy. Can I get him? Ready? Did I get him? I did get him. Uh, that was cool. Whoa, oh, I missed. Oh, oh, I missed again. Oh, he's like, oh, what happened? And then one more. I haven't really gotten rid of one of these fire dudes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, I missed. No, my broom. <laughs> you monster. Uh, okay, show up, see what happens. Gotcha, give me that. Thank you. Fire Rod, our first ever, a magical rod that can cast fireballs crafted by an ancient magician. The rod will break if it strikes something directly, so use it wisely. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Oh, look, it's a big dude. So yeah, definitely the enemies are interesting here. Man, I've never really just been this part of the the game world before, it's exciting. Now I get to try out this uh, Fire Rod if I'd like. Oh, see birds and everything. I don't, I don't have a ton of arrows. I wanna try to stay conservative with them for as long as I can. I see you, so uh. Oh, let's put you on fire, the poor dude's like, ah! Actually, let's just go ahead and throw this at you, and then, oh, I missed, oh, I missed. He's trying to swing his fire sword at me. I don't like it. Okay, we'll go back to this. If I can, whoa, oh, boom, ow! You know what, dude? You know what, hold on, hold on. Slice. These guys aren't too bad, luckily, because they're red. Usually the red ones are the easiest ones, and that seems to be the case so far. This is just <laughs> nine damage. We're using some really weak weapons, but it is against some pretty weak enemies as well. So it's like, it's not too much of a risk. Uh, let's go ahead and slice and dice you if I can. Yeah, it only takes a couple pets. So what are you gonna drop? Probably just a couple more things I can pick up, like that. Good, good, good. But this is a great way to get started with them, is by 
tossing that at them, and then probably throwing that, exploding it. They didn't drop their weapon. Come on, try that again. Also, you guys have been letting me know, I should, I'll probably start upgrading these bombs and stuff. One thing you can do is you can upgrade these uh, magical abilities that we have, and I should probably be doing that a bit more. So I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind. Maybe that's something we can do in today's episode. Oh, the Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. I like the name Dig Dog. Reminds me of the classic arcade game, Dig Dug. Probably no relation, but still cool to know. So yeah, from here on out, we'll just be following this path until we can't no longer. That might be in like a minute from now, that might be an entire episode from now. Who knows? But I'm gonna have a good time no matter what. Oh, this area is so cool, but it does move into this desert-like place. And I don't know, maybe this place will be too hot. I wouldn't think so. We've already made our way through the thing of doom, you know? But I always thought that maybe this is the one you're supposed to tackle last. Maybe it's the one you're supposed to tackle first. Oh my gosh. That's a big dude. I guess I could have skipped past him, but I don't know if that would have been a good idea. So, do I have any food right now? First of all, let's try to maybe equip what I have that might be better for defense. So that, and that's about it. Definitely I want to put my money into better armor soon if I can. I think that'd be great. So should I beat this guy up? I mean, for right now, I, I could eventually just sneak behind him if we just go quietly enough. Hmm. And I still have uh, Rivali's Gale, so we could use that to get around as well. It seems like Rivali's Gale, I don't know how it restores. Like, does it not restore unless we use all three of them? Because right now we only have times one. But I might have used the other two recently, I can't remember. Hmm. So here he is. Oh, he has something. It's sparkly. Can I steal from him? Can I climb up him? He's got something. Uh-oh. Uh. Okay. Well, maybe this would be a Oh gosh, I missed. Gosh darn it. Now's not a good time to miss. He's going to turn around and notice me. It's it's Hinox. I think we fought this guy before, at least one of them. Okay, there's that. Come on. Make it available again. He's like, owie. <laughs> I think this is my chance to uh maybe grab whatever was on his uh uh shirt there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, got him. Okay, so get back down if I can. What is that? Moonlight skimit or scimitar, I think it's pronounced. Uh delicate Gerudo carvings decorate this curved sword. The the engraved blade is extremely sharp. Apparently it once served ceremonial purposes at festivals and then a knight's halberd and then it seems like a bow and arrow of some sort. Uh, I'm gonna get it in a moment, but right now I might as well beat him up with this. Oh, this is such a cool weapon. Back it up, back it up, back it up. No, you don't. Ah, ah, okay, what if I just threw this at your eyeball? Ah, uh, that didn't really work much. He probably blinked. Got him, okay, so I'm going in for him now. We're, we're not gonna let him survive this one. Get it, get it, get it, come on. You know what, I should probably use something much stronger, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and use our big guns. Boom, boom, and then I'm gonna, Ow, oh boy. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. Come on, come on, he's almost down. Oh gosh, this was a mistake. Uh, this was a mistake. Uh, you know what? Ah, that didn't really do much, now did it? Come on, come on, come on, one more hit. No, he covered his eye! Hold on, hold on. Wait, I don't have anything there. I'll execute him. <laughs> boy. Okay, we got him. Don't fall on me. That was really not well choreographed by me. To say. Excuse me? Okay. Um. Wasn't expecting that. I guess his collapsing body took, took me out. I guess quite literally it was the flick of a wrist. Okay, maybe we could do this again and not be so sloppy about it. We've learned our lesson. Now we must apply it. That was silly of me. I did not do that very well. I was hoping I could climb atop of him. Especially with the way it like points at him, you know? Is it worth taking this guy on? I'd imagine if I do it correctly, it'd be fine. Uh, I mean, maybe it'd be smart, first off, to like eat a couple of apples. And then... Nap with him, take a little nap. <laughs> uh, just go at him with a sword at first. Like maybe that'd be the smartest thing. And then I can start using the bows and the arrows 
when it's necessary. So for right now, let's like hit him with everything I got. So if I could get the Claymore, and I could, boom, get a double hit on him, that'd be a good start, and then probably get another couple. Okay, now I gotta run away, uh, because he's gonna be not so happy. There we go, there we go, there we go. So yeah, he's really low now. Oh, that was good, come on, come on, and then take that sword, and then back it up. All right, kid, oh, don't sit on me. Okay, run, 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 he's quick. He's quick, he's got gigantic legs. Makes sense, oh gosh, no, he's covering his eye, covering his eye. Move it, move it, move it. I don't know where I'm running, he's a problem. Big problem. Oh gosh, that's a problem, all right, he's gigantic, God! <laughs> no, 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 um, quickly, eat, eat this, it's good for you. Ow, um, I need to run, like right now. Never mind. okay, so, go for him. Uh, oh, grab that now, and I think I'm going to uh, start using it, because it'll be a lot of damage really quickly. I can't even see what's happening right now. Well, we got him, I gotta run before he sits on me. <laughs> okay, there we go, we got him. Much easier this time, didn't have to use Mipha's Grace. Ay, 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 ooh, he dropped a ton of stuff. He dropped roasted bass, roasted trout, uh, Hinox toenail, a nail obtained from a Hinox. It's a th as thick as a plate of armor and can be stewed with critters to make elixirs. Ew. A Hinox tooth. A tooth obtained by, from a Hinox. It's so large, it's hard to believe it's a real tooth. It can be used to make elixirs. Roasted the trout. Really gross stuff. <laughs> and I don't know if I have enough room for the soldier's bow. I mean, I'm sure it is way better than a spiked boko bow. So let me just go ahead and drop that. And then make the soldier's bow. Cool stuff. Well, there's that done. There's also a little X on the map. What is that about? X marks the spot? What in the world? I've never seen that before. What is, what is that about? Rest in peace. Oh, I died there. Ah, interesting. Why don't I have that dotted everywhere on the map? I don't know, because I've died in the past, right? I'm pretty sure that wasn't my first time dying. Uh, weird, maybe when I've known I've, I was going to die, I just reloaded my save. I thought that maybe like I, I killed that Hinox and wasn't supposed to, maybe he had like some kind of quest relevance, and you know, doing that messed up the quest. Luckily that wasn't the case. I hear some angry birds. So this is where I'm getting a little nervous. Am I even able to enter this forest, this desert? Or will things go bad? Oh my. Uh, hello. So it looks like, you know, our battles aren't quite finished. I, uh, dude, there was a pole between you and me there. Ow, dude, you know what? Dang it, I wasted that arrow and it was all your fault and it makes me furious. Oh, oh, can I get that arrow? Oh, I took it, fine. A trade. I can respect that. Oh, get back here. You know what? You know what? See ya. <laughs> He's out of here. Okay, move back over to this guy. Come on. He doesn't even see me, dude. Gotta say, you're not a very observant. Oh, here. He's like, okay, I found you. Got him. Okay, well, not whenever they're off the horse, it becomes like seven times easier. Uh, first off, run up to me, dude. Go ahead. Or not. Dang it, I missed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, got it. So. Before you do anything more, I'm just gonna go ahead and use use this boomerang. I think it'll be fine. Got it, and then catch. Dang it. <laughs> I'm really bad at that. I love this weapon, though. I love how quick you can swing it. I mean, I guess it's sort of the same as any single-handed weapon. Nice, so we got another Boko Bow there. Apparently, that's uh better than this. Good to keep in mind. I mean, if right now, I guess I should be holding the Knight's Bow. Okay, so the only thing that you dropped there, oh, the, uh, that's right, it was my uh, Lysel Boomerang. These are just nice to throw around, so I'll keep it. Oh gosh, there's wolves. That's not gonna be easy. All right, well, I have a number of worries, like trying to get more arrows, trying to avoid wolves that might not like me. Are they hyenas? And we are sort of in a desert-like area. Oh, maybe this guy won't see me if I just sort of Crouch and move. I, I gotta try to approach things in a different situation than running in and just trying to beat everybody up like I always do. Sometimes it's good to have a strategy. And I'm having that now. 
<laughs> of all times. 20, 30 hours into the game. I do see something with probably a uh, Korok seed over that way. That might be nice. Now that we've gone over That's here though, I think that we'll be able to sneak up undetected. Somehow that guy didn't see me. He's not very good at his outposting job because <laughs> he just saw me beat up his friends on horseback. That poor horse is just like my master. He was a jerk, but he was all that I had. There's another cave entrance that we need to blow open. Okay, so this poor dude, he doesn't have much going for him. Um, hey, hey, oh uh, no you don't, no you don't. Hold on, hold on, blah. Okay, so can you please drop arrows that I can pick up? Yeah, I picked them up. So, I do have now the iron sledgehammer. I really picked this up because it's so helpful for breaking things. Like, getting some palm fruits out of it too. So, who's gonna be up here? They don't quite see me just yet. They're like, huh? Huh, what's happening? Okay, go for it, go for it. Boom, boom, ow. You know what, we both, we both swung. Fine enough victorious. There we go. Then break some of this open as well. Boom. And then, you coming over here? Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Ugh. There we go. That didn't break anything. I thought it was gonna hopefully break your shield. Whoa, <laughs> that's a little weird. Uh, ah, there it goes. No, he fell. That sinks. Well, chances are he didn't have arrows, seeing how he didn't have a bow. I mean, he could've had some other things that could've been, ow, useful. Okay, you wanna end up like your friend did, huh? Uh, there we go. One, two. These guys aren't too bad. Uh, we got some more stuff there. Move back to the sledgehammer. Nice. What do I get for that? Some sh mushrooms. And what do we get here? Hopefully some arrows. Also, there's a shrine we already did <laughs> at some point. We sort of risked it all getting over there. Ice arrow five, a bundle of five ice arrows. Ice arrows break apart. Yeah, we well, sort of know that, don't we? Okay, so I got a number of things I can tackle here. First off, I figure we'll head over to this one since it's just simply closer. We'll try to explore these areas as, as thoroughly as we can. And, oh gosh, uh, hold on, hold on. Um, no, no, no. Let's try this. Oh, don't you throw your friend's head at me. That would just be rude. <laughs> Come on, stop. Hold on, hold on. Get, I can't hit it. <laughs> get it. Oh gosh, come on, stop please. Oh, what do I get? Ooh, a moblin arm. A moblin bone that continues to move even after being detached from its own body. The bone is thick enough to be used as a weapon, but is extremely brittle and easily broken. Very cool. We get tons of other stuff as well. These guys just dropped tons. You know what? I don't think I need this. Okay. Uh, pick up some of that. Is this any better? It's not. Okay, so, I was aiming for this. Now I got it. Oh, there's just some stuff on there. It's worth getting. Definitely worth getting, because we get some rock salt and some amber. Very good. Okay, so let's head back that way so I can break over and break open the other one. And then we'll be good to continue normally, I think. Okay. Yeah, there really isn't too much more of another path. The only problem is I just, if I could have gotten a tower, that would have been very helpful. I, I don't really know where to begin with that, but maybe it'll be on our path. I feel like that, that's also maybe the smartest thing we can do is just follow this path and hope that it gets us where we need to be. Okay, so, because at this point I can only assume I'm on sort of some sort of main path. Oh, electric keys. Don't really care too much, but I'll keep it in mind. Rusty shield, I don't need that much. Ooh. Um, so yeah, we'll be able to toss. Boom. Yeah, I got it. So what's in here? Ooh, number of things. They're all rocks, but they're all also things. Uh, oh. Oh, there's a chest. Okay. Maybe I could do that again? I'd sort of move some of them. I mean, I know I could do more than just that. No, that's not really what I wanted. <laughs> uh, but if I could, I thought I saw a chest in there. It's right here. But it's covered in rocks from this angle. Uh, from here. Yeah, because it's so covered in rocks, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. All of these rocks are sort of individual, so. That's not what I wanted. Uh, all right then, I'm gonna have to use the sledgehammer. Well, that's what I have it for, or I could just miss constantly. There it is. Okay, open this up quickly before things fall over. What do we get? A topaz. Uh, was it worth all that effort? Potentially not. Is this? Ooh. Ooh. What is that about? I got a big rock. And maybe I was supposed to use this rock to push all the other rocks away? 
it appears that's the case. Oh well. Hey everybody, watch out for me! I got a big rock and the wind is very treacherous around here. I'm just gonna hold on to this for as long as we can. <laughs> I mean, we do move a little slow, so maybe it's not a good idea. But there's a sign. Not any longer. Ha! Oh, invincible sign. What does this say then? Gerudo Canyon Stable. You wanna stop before entering the desert, trust me. Proprietor. Okay. Tower! Okay, so now things are working out. I'm getting a little curious about what's up this way though. So let's climb it and discover together. Uh, Luckily, climbing this stuff has gotten easier than ever. It actually doesn't seem to be much. Okay, but it might be safer than just traveling the main path. Maybe it's a trap. Or tourists, they'll catch you in a corner and try to sell you something. Won't let you leave. Oh, ooh, this wasn't a bad idea at all. Ooh, I see. Okay, so, if I had that, d d hold on, hold on. That's not really what I intended. I might wanna eat up a little bit. I mean, these guys are just two little red dudes, so they shouldn't be too bad. But, if I have the chance, might as well try to eat a couple more. And then go for it. Hey guys! I think I made a wrong turn! <laughs> Could you give me some directions? Okay, wait, wait, no. Oh, well that sort of worked. And then, see ya. Oh, I did that wrong. Wait, hold on, try to do that again. Dang it. Gah, keys, keys, the worst. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Okay, so I wasted a couple more arrows than I'd like, but the fact that they're still kicking is actually worrying me. Okay, he's on fire. That's good. Uh, for me, not for him. Uh, hey, <laughs> how are you? How have things been? Get out of here. Oh, that got you. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, gotta be careful. He's like, who did that? Who could have possibly done it? And then we're going in, we're going in. Got it. And then I'm gonna go with this and then jab, jab, got him. One more, two more actually. That's fine. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> uh, okay, he's fine. We got him. Yeah, we did it. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, never mind. Not the ding, ding, ding. Oh well. Okay, so we got a couple of different items here. Nothing I'm looking for too much. Really, I'm just looking for more arrows. So that other guy, I did try. I did pick up a bundle, and here's another bundle. Thank you. Totally worth it if I got 10 arrows because I didn't spend 10 arrows. How many do I have in total? 19? Very good. So, what is gonna be in this one? That was a lot of fun, though. <laughs> Taking the two guys out while I'm in the air. Night shield. So, I already have a number of these, but it's always good to have another. So, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the super duper weak one. We almost have four of these. Uh, I don't know when we're going to need to use them because I just don't use them very much. I'm not very good at the, the shield play in this game. And that's 100% my fault. Anyways, let's continue. Uh, I really don't see too much around here. Like maybe there's some stuff on like the upper ridge. Those are the bad guys we just took out, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. But I'm glad we were able to tackle that a bit differently. We got a tactical advantage. Whoa, more electric keys. And a little lizard. Lizard! I got a hardy lizard! This rare lizard lives deep in the forests. It Feeds on high nutri nutrient foods, giving it great vitality. When used to make elixirs, they temporarily increase your maximum hearts. Well, I don't know about deep in the forests. One usually need more than one tree for that. But hey, I'll keep it in mind. See, so yeah, we need to find some kind of outpost because of some guy saying that we should. So we could have teleported to this spot, but I didn't really know if that was a good idea or not. So I'm glad we didn't, because we, we got some materials. Oh, hey! Who are you? You there! You're gonna try to devour me, aren't you? You can't avoid us forever. Will you join the Ika clan? Ika clan? <laughs> a powerful, brave group of warriors founded my master Koga and dedicated to defeat a hero thought long dead. I will take your life. No, you don't. No, you won't. Uh, come on. Okay, good start. Oh, darn it, I missed. Hold on, let me get my arrow back. Hold on. Nobody, I am bound by my stinginess. Hold on, got it. Okay, hold on, wrong, wrong button, wrong button. Okay, here you are. Hey, I, I found this, I don't really need it, so would you like it? Hey, hold on, fuck. <laughs> that actually took him out too. Oh, I sort of feel bad, they're really weak compared to us now. I just sort of gave it a little toss. I don't know if we were supposed to go to this area first or like a lot sooner than we ended up going to it because these guys, oh no, seem to be a lot easier. I mean, the Hinox was tough, but really I just needed a proper strategy with it instead of going in head first as I always do. 
Oh, hey, look at these guys. They're just playing in the field. I feel so bad when it's just like this. Like, like one of the other ones gonna go take a potty break. And before he knows, I'm taking out his friend. They're just hanging out. It's adorable. But I know that if I don't pay attention, they'll attack me, and then it'll be a problem. So I better well, might as well take my advantage now while I have it. Because apparently you can do a lot of damage if you get a good sneak up attack on somebody. And I want to try it. Uh, I'll try it with something a bit stronger if I can. I mean, I really wish I had stronger single-handed weapons, but I don't really. So I don't know when that guy's gonna turn on. I sort of seem to have a bit of a cycle. But that's why I want to go back to Kokiri, or Kokiri Village? Was it? Okay, oh, I wasn't able to. That's fine. Got him still. <laughs> well, his friend notice? Not quite yet. But he's, he's pieced it together. Uh, no, he stopped caring. Okay, hey buddy, I'm over here. Did you want to fight? No? Hmm, I'll stick with the Moblin Club. There he is, and toss. Boom. These things break so easy, but that's fine. Got it. So, what do you drop? Couple of things. Good stuff. And they we're all just checking out this mushroom, for whatever reason. You know, it was just a cool mushroom. Okay, so I don't see anything on this side. Just a bunch of rocks. I mean, I, I think you can say that about this entire area. It's just a bunch of rocks. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna find anything that way. So, luckily these, these dogs, they've been peaceful. That's always fantastic. Don't have to worry about that. Ooh, scaffolding. What is going on with all of this? I mean, I think I wanna climb up this if I wanna get to the tower. Okay. Whoa, whoa, rocks. Rocks are falling. I better watch my step. I don't see much down that way. At least not enough to me warrant walking down there instead of up here where I might be safe and I have a height advantage. So if I ever wanna go back down, I can. So let's go for it. it. Looks like there might be more than one way up. It looked like there was maybe a ladder over there, but could be wrong. This is so cool. I don't currently understand the purpose of this other than it might just be an easier way to climb. Oh, it ends. How do you get to the rest of it? That's a question I must answer. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, break this stuff then. Oh, uh, what is with this? I was supposed to do something with that, wasn't I? Uh, well, drop the money. <laughs> so I'll take it. Boom. Five rupees. I'm swimming in it. Okay, so. Yeah, I, I guess we're just gonna. Oh boy. Where are those? Ah! Ah! Electric jellies. I must not let them attack me. I should probably. Ah! They attacked me! No, you dropped, I dropped my stuff. Come on, get rid of this dude. <laughs> so I do little splash attacks, that isn't good. So I wanted to try doing some more shield surfing soon. I haven't really done it too much, because I can go like this and start surfing. But you really gotta do it on the downhill sections. And it seems like most downhill sections, I'd rather just glide and not have to use up a shield. So it is a silly situation. Oh, they're good, I think. Well, maybe not these webs. Run away! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I'll help you, I guess he's... Uh, can you guys go? Leave that one dude alone. Come on, come on, get out of here. You guys trying to circle me? I won't let it happen. I feel so bad taking these guys out. Come on, I can't get them. They're actually really quick. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, don't, don't use this. I thought I had the sickle out. Uh, are you guys running? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to throw it if you're fleeing. You can flee. Where'd that guy go? He's over that way. Okay, so I'll talk to him in a moment. He's cowering in the corner. I'm going to start breaking some stuff open because this will be really helpful for me. So we got some amber. We got some rock salt. Very good. And some wood. Free stuff is great. I mean, even though it's probably his. Oh yeah, he's a pottery maker. He's making some uh, pots there. <laughs> I just stole all this stuff. Hey, how you doing? That was a close one. Hey, I sure I wasn't expecting, I sure wasn't expecting to meet anyone out here. Maybe this is just the upturn luck I needed. Yeah, so yeah. I'm a traveler like you, and I was attacked by monsters in this very canyon. That's why my partner, that's to say my horse, ran off. And hey, I've been stranded here ever since. Hey, yeah, if I just had a horse, I could continue my travels, and you're a fellow traveler, so I have to ask, right? 
If on your travels you see a horse that would suit me, would you sell to me for a hundred, no, 300 rupees? Sell it to me for 300 rupees, sure. You got it. Mm. Hey, thanks, but don't bring me too big a horse, won't be able to ride it. No, I need a suitably sized horse. Uh, okay, good sized horse. I'll keep that in mind. So a horse is not too big, but probably not too small either, because eventually that could be swaying too much in one direction. You have this really tiny horse. What, what is that tiny horse gonna carry? I don't know. Okay, well. What is that? Oh, it's just a bush. I was gonna say, that had a weird motion to it. So, I really don't know where we're going. I can only hope, it seems like this is, I thought that this right here was the divide of the country, or like the, the continents, not really a path, but it seems like it's what we're traveling at the moment, for one good reason or another. Hmm, but is that correct? I mean, it sort of leads into that, so it could work that way. Hard to say. Hmm, looks like we're finally starting to get to some scaffolding I can actually walk on. And there's another, one of these glowing pots. Is there another potterer around here? Or maybe they're just lights. I thought it was pottery being burnt, you know, because you know you have to do that to, to make it, you know. Okay, that rock was nothing special. All right, let's get up some more scaffolding. This area is very weird, and I want to keep going until we at least get to some kind of save point. Hmm. But yeah, this is, this. I'm getting farther on my journey than I had expected, which is great. I'm having a lot of fun. Okay. This just keeps going up and up. Maybe we could get to the top with this one. It feels like it could fall off at any moment. I would get a little worried. This goes in so many different directions. I'm a little intimidated. I think following this wall would be the smartest because it seems like one thing these things sort of meet up. Maybe. Yep, right there. It's so going one over the other. Doesn't seem to be worth that choice. But, there's a bit of a gap. Could I make that jump? Uh, I wouldn't bet on it. But possibly. What does this have? Oh, vault fruit. So there's the top of that ridge. But if we want to get to this other side, we have to get a little bit higher. Which we can do right now. I did see some fire that way. What could that be? Maybe that's the outpost. That doesn't look like, yeah, they're on torches. What is that? A hot tub? Ooh, luxurious. Hmm, okay. Sorry, I'm just like really trying to take this in. This is a lot different than everything else we've explored. Maybe there's somebody up here. Like this looks like some kind of outpost. Like if we were still by the area with the Reno, I would say that's even like a place where they could jump off and start flying, but I don't know. Whoa, whoa, don't run off. Yeah, like doesn't this look like a diving post? Like I could just jump off from here? Weird. I mean, I could definitely jump off and glide over that way. I just don't know if that's worth my time. But there's certainly a lot to do over this way. I see a lot of uh, ground to cover. Oh, there's the tower. So we are making our journey to the tower really well, but I do see what looks to be a Lizalfos, couple of Lizalfos around the fire. Ooh, you know what? Uh, we Ooh, if we do this right, I don't know if this will actually get it though. Uh, well, oh, we only have one though. Ooh, let's just try hitting it again. All right, you know what? Let's go like this, and then see if we can, oh, it's a black Lizalfos. Hold on, hold on. Ah, okay, that sort of worked, it sort of worked. Oh, he's on fire. Get him now. I think this guy's gonna be tough. Oh yes, he's most certainly going to be tough. I should've probably approached this with a better strategy. I should've saved first or something. Okay, uh, okay, I have an issue going on right now. I need to heal, I need to heal right now. Um, with whatever I got. And then what is this? This is going to be a hasty elixir. I think actually it might be helpful. Uh, okay, one more. Okay, so, I need to get up and I need to start moving and I need to be careful with how I tackle things. But, I also have a number of items that might be helpful. Wow, these guys are quick, they're hasty. Stop that, stop it right now. Um, move back, move back. 
He dropped his weapon, so now's a good time to maybe hit him with the, the flame sword. Yeah! Okay, that was pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. But it's not quite done. Uh, he's still kicking for sure. Um, I could equip, oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I wanna hold on to my arrows as long as I can, but got him. Uh, whoa, dude, back up, back up. I don't wanna be able to smell your breath. I can smell your breath, you're too close. Okay, that's a couple of them down. I don't know what happened to the other ones. Like, man, I'm just gonna go back to my lunch. No, oh, I guess he, I guess he's a, a ranger. Okay. Well, maybe I could catch up to you before you use too many of your arrows. Hey, stop. I'm gonna do that for the interest of keeping those arrows. Uh, <laughs> get that, and then my lightning rod is bar badly damaged. It's okay. Got it. So, did you drop any arrows? Please do. Oh, you used too many. Dude, stop shooting the arrows. And then you're just a little red guy, so I should be able to just do that. And hopefully you have at least a couple. And that's all of them, yeah! <laughs> that was tough. We are definitely running into more difficult enemies. The, uh, the, the Black Lizalfos is definitely new. Uh, and they seem to be as difficult as the uh, Black Bokoblins, you know. But yeah, there should be some arrows just chilling out. Oh, like this one. I was hoping that they wouldn't use up their entire stash, but at the same time, I'm, I'm getting them in return, so I don't mind. So what's in that chest? Maybe another group of arrows? At this point, I should have a lot of ice arrows. I have 23 of them. More than my normal amount of arrows, which is a little ridiculous. No, no, no. I wonder if there's a way to make arrows in this game. Probably not. Knight's bow. I don't know if I need it. I have a lot of bows and arrows right now. Whoa, let's not do that. <laughs> hmm. And it's, I want to keep checking my map to get a better lay of the land. But it's also not really an appropriate area to do that. Maybe I should do really quickly. Is there a fire here? I could try to cook up some food, especially since it feels like I particularly need it. Uh, so what do we got that we could cook? Any kind of raw food, so let's sort this. Uh, I mean, even some non-raw food would be good. Uh, so, I mean non, okay, non-meat is what I should say. Are these cooking? I would hope so. Uh, I might have missed a little bit. No, they're still just apples. Baked apple. There it is. Okay, so. Hmm. Definitely this stuff. Drop all of that. I sort of missed some of it. The fire spreads. Good. Luckily, this doesn't take too long. Just don't. Oh, it's catching me on fire. Why does this always happen to me? Uh, equip. Equip. Is that good? Or am I still getting hurt? Uh, well, I'm not getting hurt anymore, but I'm just low on health in general. So I'll go ahead and eat these. I just cooked. Uh, roasted bird drumstick. Raw bird drumstick that's been cooked to a crisp, skin and all. It's devoid of seasoning, but it uh, has a simple, accessible taste. Restores more hearts than the raw variety. Cool. There's a couple more. I don't want to use them just yet, yet. So my speed up is gone. Ugly. Uh, it came slightly in handy. Glad I was able to eventually use it, because I didn't know what else I was gonna use it for. Hmm. Because there's so much to explore, I don't know where to start, so right now it's just smart to head towards the tower, if I can figure out where it is. Okay, are these more enemies, or? I don't know. Like, wh maybe that sign wasn't for me. Maybe it was for bad guys, but you would think most of them wouldn't be able to read because they're just monsters, but hey, maybe they can. Maybe I am misjudging their level of intelligence. And that's a rude thing to do. Hmm. Trying to find the entrance. Okay, there is a ladder over here. And that's what I gotta do. I do see another wolf, but I think if I keep moving, I can just go right around him. Won't even notice me. Okay, he noticed me. But noticing me and catching up to me, two different things, sir. Two different things. I mean, I don't think they can climb up ladders, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, so get up this one as well. Because I don't think these were made by the Boca Blins or the Lizalfos. I think these were made by Hylians or whoever lives here. Uh, more of the civilized life. And then, beyond that, they just sort of took it over. Which, you know, makes sense to me. So there's nothing over this way, right? Just looks like another jumping pad. I'll keep it in mind. I do like these trees a lot. These trees look really cool. Oh gosh, not another one of those dudes. I might just wanna climb the cliff to just avoid him. What is on top of this tree? There's a rock. Well, this might be a Korok seed, might be worth grabbing. I need to find where uh, Hesto went. That's another thing, is find out where the uh, 
Korok Village is, or whatever it is. Well, there we go. There was Korok Seed. I had to take a drink of water. I'm so sorry. So, parts of this were what we, we just explored. Man, it's easy to get confused about how far you've gone, because we haven't traveled a lot horizontally or on land. We've just traveled a lot vertically. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going for you, aren't I? And I messed again. Man, my aim needs some work. It needs some work. Where are you? I mean, if I'm not awful, I probably could have hit him and he would have felt fallen right off. Uh, well, let me pick up at least one of these arrows again. It was right here. It was right here. Where'd it go? It stopped sparkling. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh, maybe if I move quick, I can just get up here and he'll uh, oh, just like, ah, whatever, he's gone. Got it. Okay, so we're off this way now. Have you followed me? Can you go up any higher than you have? No, he's just sort of dancing around. He's like, I'll get you one day. <laughs> no, you won't. Leave me alone. Oh my. Uh-oh. We got more. Oh, what do you want? Oh, what, do you got a problem? Can I borrow those real quick? No. Uh, hold on, sir. You you are electric, so I gotta be very careful about that. Uh, boom. Okay, so I broke him with that, but that's okay, because I got more. And I'm gonna hit him with one of these, but it probably won't do too much. Yeah, he's invulnerable to it. Uh, I can set him on fire, though. He ain't invulnerable to that, but it might set me on fire in a moment if I'm not careful. But this does a lot of damage right there. Ooh, so what kind of bow is that? Steel Lysel bow, oh my. And that is more powerful than what I currently have? Um, because it's looking like it. Uh, because yeah, I have this equipped. So if I could maybe unequip the Lysel bow just for the steel one, that sounds fantastic to me. 36 damage, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt. Got a couple of other things as well. So that was a yellow Lizalfos, technically. Oh, there's a fairy. Oh. Let me try to get that if I can. Where are you? Yeah, this is gonna restore my health all the way if I could. Oh my, I think it's gone. <laughs> uh, does that mean there's a great fairy somewhere around here? What's under here? Just a nice place to relax. What is that supposed to be? Oh, there's a chest. Uh, oh, uh, what? You, you found me. Okay, but I want the chest. Well, there it is. Uh, <laughs> that was bizarre. And I get five more ice arrows. They just shower you with those things, don't they? Is it possible that there could be a fairy, a great fairy around here? Because I've only found like two great fairy spots. Oh, it's another one. That's a problem. But oh, there's the fairy again. I'm gonna try to get that first if I can. Here, fairy. Because you'll give me health. Thank you. Um. Can I just, uh, the fairy will fly from your pouch and heal all of your wounds the moment you lose your last heart. Yeah, that's true. It's easily mistaken for a firefly at first, but it glows in the daylight as well as night. Okay. So does this jerk notice me? I don't believe he does. Oh, he went back into rock form. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Uh, Cause now I could just go for you. Yeah, I don't know, like, I mean, I, I have a lot of weapons. Not many I want to use. It's the tough part. I want to save them for when I need them. Uh, probably shouldn't be using an electric weapon against you, though. Uh, let's just do the edge of duality. Because this thing, it, there we go. Oh no, I dropped it. That hurt him, though, that's for sure. Ow. No, what about the fairy? I guess that only happens after the other thing. Come on, can I get you? Or are you gonna be a problem? Got him, a little bit. <laughs> it's badly damaged, okay, fine. Boom, that really didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. Uh, don't use this, use this. Uh, uh, ow, holy cow, dude. Stop that, stop, please, please. I'm very bad at this game, you have to, give me time, give me time. Okay, uh, I got him, but he made me drop my stuff. Dude, gah, get out of here, you just, you don't stop. There's no chill with you. Gah, come on, what the heck? I know you're like in full on electric mode right now. Okay, so, ah. Oh. Jeez Louise, there's a waste of Mipha's grace. Let me pick up some of my stuff here, jeez. Okay, I wasted a lot there. <laughs> I really shouldn't have done that. Um, What else do we got? I uh, have some food that I'd rather not eat all of, but eating a little bit would surely be helpful. Okay, Um, there's some electric jellies over there. 
pretty cool. I love how our fire rod reflects off of things. That looks awesome. But uh, for now, if I have this stuff I can break, I might as well break it with the, the hammer. Oh, there's peppers over here. Ooh, that's helpful. I really need to go on like a major food collection. But every time I seem to do that, I run into issues where I need a lot more food than what I have. And I end up using the food in my attempt at getting more. Awesome. So that's very good. That was like 10, no, maybe not 10, but close to 10. That's very helpful. I don't see too much over this way. I think that if we wrap around, there should be a way to get, I mean, this is probably our best way. Just get up like that and keep moving. I mean, I'm taking a very direct way to the tower and maybe that's foolish, especially, oh, especially with all of that. Look at that family. Do I really want to disrupt that family? Because they might end up disrupting me. Maybe I should just try to find a workaround for now because things are getting rather difficult. Uh, can I get up there or did I just make a big mistake? No. Hold on, let's try that again. It's not because I don't have enough stamina to get up there, it's because I made a bad choice on how to climb it. Uh, because if I just take my time getting up, I should be able to do it just fine. And I might even be able to, no, pff, it's not the button, I meant the press. Uh, maybe there's an easier way up around this way. Uh, I'd argue this is no different. <laughs> So that's not a problem. I, mean, I think that sometimes he can stand on slight ledges like this and sometimes he can't. So I'm just worried, worried about getting to the top. The thing is, is that I don't even know, like, I think my question was just answered. Did you see that moving in the distance? I was like, I don't even know what the next divine beast is, where it is, what it looks like. And then I saw that. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's really hidden behind the mountains. Just like probably the rest of this entire section is just hidden behind the mountains, I never even noticed it. Holy cow. We're almost there. I hear the gurglings of what has to be a number of enemies waiting at the top. So if I could just quietly. They had another little family. Like I would love to take these dudes on. What in the world is it? It looks like an elephant again. I don't know. I mean, all I do know is I want to get up to this tower really badly without angering these guys. Hmm, this is quite the undertaking so far. Like, I want, I, I do plan. I, I very much so plan to take on whatever enemies I need to take. See ya! <laughs> but for now, I'm out of here. Leave me alone. They're like, wait, what in the world was that? It was me. It was me the whole time. Woohoo! Oh no, oh no. I think I can handle these dudes though. But they're all napping. If I do this right, this guy notices me. But it's just one of them. It's just his little friends that are a problem. Look at how easy that was. Like, these guys aren't too bad, I just gotta be careful. I love how friendly they are to each other. Look at how gigantic these guys are. They're just taking naps and they look huge. But it's just like they just hang out with each other like man. What a great view. I'm glad I have such a good little jelly friend. Hmm, there's the tower. Can only imagine as we get closer to the tower, the enemies that'll be waiting for us. I'm not looking forward to it. But it does seem like Revali's Gale doesn't restore unless you use all three of Revali's Gale, which is sort of concerning, because now I need it more than ever to sneak around some enemies. Okay, so I, I think I'm in the clear for now. What if it's like a camel? That's what it looks like. It looks like a camel. Look, the head and then the two humps. Oh, interesting. What is going on here? I don't know, I'm trying to take things slowly. Of course, the wind is picking up the more we climb. Have I ever picked up this plant? It's a swift violet. Oddly enough, I don't see any enemies. Oh, but this is like tar. That is definitely not something I want to take a step in. But it's not like evil goop. So I could just start climbing. Uh, what will happen if I start climbing? This honestly looks like it may fall. I have to be careful. If I just, if I just land face first and goop. It's all like limestone, I, th I think. Whoa, 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 wind, wind. Oh no! So the wind is way too tough to do that from this angle. It's pushing me this way. I think we're gonna save. We haven't saved in a while. Gerudo Highlands. 
Awesome. This is crazy, so I have to be very, very careful with how I choose this. It looks like I don't wanna glide, because the wind picked up majorly when I started gliding. But, oh, I see. Oh, this is all making sense now. Uh, first off, I don't know if these tiny boxes will be all that helpful. I don't think they'll have any. Oh, no, wait, they have rupees. Okay, purple. Rupee has 51 in total. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> I love doing that. Okay, so let's try. Oh, there's the glowy mountain again. What do you know? Cool stuff. I guess it's still the best to use this and get some fruit from it, more rupees. But I think what's pretty clear here is that I gotta use these boxes to make a bit of a bridge. The smaller ones, I don't believe I'm gonna need. So I'm going to uh, pass up on them if I can manage. Oh, there's even some under. Don't tell me you have to stack them then. That looks like it's a case. Like if I plop one in, it's going to sink. Because I cannot glide over to those ones. At least from what I see. So yeah, it just sinks almost entirely to the bottom. I mean, I think it does, but it almost completely submerges it. So I can put one on top, like that. Sort of a bit makeshift, I gotta be honest, but you work with what you got. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, indeed. I can try getting this one then. I mean, we got a lot to work with, and luckily we can do some interesting things once we get out into the center of it all. We can start picking up the ones behind us, the ones we've already walked over, and, and extend the bridge consistently like that. So, once I get a couple of these, I mean, I should get them all at least in the lake, that way I can sort of circulate them to my goal. The only problem is, what if the wind just pushes me straight off? That would be a problem. Uh... So yeah, let's uh, push this way out. Cause as you can see, like it looks like I was making progress from that one side. Then you actually get over there and you're like, oh, no, no. Not making any progress at all. So from this though, I mean the wind doesn't seem to be active now, but it only was active the second I tried to get over the pillar. And that's what I'm worried about. So maybe I'm being a little bit overdoing it with this, but I don't know until I try. So that's going to sink all the way, oh, not to the bottom. And me standing on it doesn't lower it. So it's not buoyant, right? It's not like floating, and me standing on it's gonna make it sink. So there, oh, wow, and there's so many down there. So many. So I actually don't need to go ahead and recycle any just yet, because I can rip this one out, and then just put it right here. And that should be enough that it just lands on top of its counterpart, and I can pick up this one and whip it around, and then this right here should be the last one if this is gonna work to my plan. Well, pulling this, like, destroy the whole pyramid of uh, blocks I have going on here, because as you can see, things are starting to go at a weird angle. That's not right. Uh, why is that? I really hope that the, the land under this is flat, because if not, that'd be weird and difficult to work with. Hmm, so that's falling. It's still trying to turn, in a way. Uh, could I land on that? Would that be a responsible idea? Uh, not looking like it. I could just try, you know, throwing caution in the wind and just throwing one on top of it. Oh. 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 That makes sense. Okay, uh, oh, 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 that was really irresponsible. Okay, we made it. Keep running, keep running. Keep running, whoa. Keep moving, keep moving. So you really can't take the easy way out with this one. Okay, now that I've done that, let's move up like this. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Oh, now you're ready. <laughs> I just did all of that, and the second I'm done, Rivali's Gale is now ready. Man, Rivali loves to mess with me. Okay, so let me go ahead and do this resting station. Now I have enough stamina, I can really jump to it quite easily. Just jump and jump and got it at another platform. Ain't that great. And for the last final stretch, actually let me restore all of the stamina, because I should be able to just jump up the rest of the way with this. Yeah, we made it! Okay, we got to the top of the tower! That means we're gonna be clearing out so much here, which is fantastic. I hope she could tower activated. Look at this, at the far corners of the world, or of at least Hyrule. Wowee. 
So how much is that gonna clear up? I can only imagine a ton. Scanning the area. But that's gonna be, I think, our second to last tower, which is very exciting. Ugh, makes me wanna stretch. I'm so tired, that took so much energy out of me. That has to be it. There's the only possible explanation. Okay. Well, maybe there's two more, or I don't know. Wow. So yeah, that's where we're headed. We were following that path all along. Uh, regional map extracted, of course. Taking a bit of a detour to get to this tower seems like a good idea to me. Especially with so many enemies around here that seem to be quite high tier that we'll be able to ch take out. Look at this, dude. That looks like a camel to me. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Now I'm guessing we don't want to be in the cloudy area. And I'm sure that we could run into so much if we follow the main path. But I think that for right now, with the difficulty of the enemies and how easily I get distracted, it may just be easier to try to go like this. Uh. Oh, there's a shrine. Let me go ahead and, oh, I can't use it from here. But I see. This is the path that I'm trying to get to, which I guess is sort of, yeah, that makes sense, okay. Oh, we're gliding for a while now. That is quite a high tower point. Holy cow, it's amazing. So yeah, it's telling me about this shrine. I'm tempted to land on the top of here. I feel like it would be a good advantage and there won't be many enemies waiting atop of it for us. So let's just try that, because I'm gonna have to stop eventually and I don't want to stop in the middle of the desert. At least, as much as I can prevent that. So I want to go ahead and, uh... It was right, is that it? That little, yep, that's it, so... Got it. Okay, so that's another shrine I'll have to get to at some point. I don't think I should worry about it now. Hmm. If I take a look, we got the Great Cliffs. Interesting. It really, it's weird how it extends into this area even. Man, it's so interesting seeing this one last little sliver we have yet to fill out. I mean, we still have so much more left that we could possibly do in this game. It's just a matter of the fact that we can see it all on the map is great. So, it seems to be like a lake. I mean, they did say wait at the outpost, you'll need it. Oh, look at these guys. What are they doing? They're all dancing with a little jelly. Okay. Man, there are so many enemies. Whoever, the Gerudos must be tough. I can say that much. And here are the Great Cliffs, apparently. There's another tower. Wow. So that's the last tower in the game right there. Maybe I should mark that on my map as well. Anyways, Kara Kara Bazaar, here we are. <laughs> what is this place about? What happens when a stranger just flies on in? Will they say goodbye? Whoa. Whoa. Was that a mistake? What in the world? Was that the divine beast? Uh, what happened? Oh boy, what fancy little feet. That really is divine. They're purple. That is a camel, all right. Oh boy. So, this guy's making things not so great around here, I can see. That is weird. He seems to be emitting some kind of dust or smoke, creating a sandstorm, which is not good for the, the, the local wildlife. I could, I could assume that much. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, obviously, we always find a way. Okay. <laughs> Thought there might have been something that happened here at the bazaar. Oh, hey. Hello. Savota. Savota. Who are you? Uh, you. You're a vow, aren't you? I am, why, what's a vow? Hmm, no. I bet mama would have a problem with a delicate vow like you. Oh. oh yes, I'm Ronson. I hail from Gerudo Town. Oh. This search for the love of my life, I'm so exhausted by it. Search? Ugh, I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a Hylian like you, but I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found my, the love of my life. Why the rush? You don't know, really. It's incredibly rare for a male to be born to the Gerudo. For our own survival as a people, we travel to find husbands. 
I have proven myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Is a vo a non-gerudo or just a male? Yeah, this is pretty cool. What a letdown. Uh, what's a letdown? Watch it, sorry, sorry. Oh, how can they make an old Vi work this hard? Huh? Oh, Bazak. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I've got plenty of hydromelons. I bet more than you'll find in Gerudo Town. Why not buy a bunch while you're here? Buy my stuff. <laughs> Why do you come here to do that? Hurry it up, would you? Okay, interesting. Uh, Man, I can sell a lot of these. I have three coins each though, or three rupees each, they're not, they're not gonna get me much here. Like, ooh, eight each? It's almost 800 rupees. Uh, we got a lot of expensive stuff at this point. I just don't know if it's worth selling or not. Sorry, she's she's so angry and old. I mean, I don't know if those things correlate or not, but yeah, I just sort of snuck in. I think this lady over here is supposed to be a guard of some sort. Uh, all of this stuff is fresh, is it? Good morning. <laughs> That's how you say it where you're from, isn't it? Here we say Savata. I have things to sell. Mm. Oh, sure thing. Oh, you're much more pleasant. Um, I don't actually have things oh. to sell, unfortunately. I don't want to talk. I just want to talk to as many people as I can. Seared steak, like, food seems tempting, but I can always get it myself. Oh, I want to talk to that person who's leaving really quickly, and then we'll talk to everybody else. Hey, wait up! Okay, well, they're walking rather slow. I think I'm gonna be able to catch up. It's dangerous out there. Are you a person, or are you human? Are you a Gerudo, a Hylian? I guess they're not humans, they're Hylians. Oh, you are a Gerudo. Hi, um, where's that treasure? Savota. Mm -hmm. If you're searching for Kalisa, legendary treasure hunter, then your search is over, you're looking at her. Oh, cool. I've been in the game for over 20 years. When I set my sights on a treasure, you can be sure that I'll claim it. Gerudo are very tall. Like, I mean, oh gosh, what's happening? Oh, I was overheating. Really? I'm wearing my heat suit. Am I wearing the full thing? I am. Interesting. I don't know why that's about. Has that been happening this whole time? Probably. Uh, I'm worried now. Why am I overheating so much? Maybe I don't wanna... Okay. Does this help? No. <laughs> I mean, it didn't hinder at all either. Nothing unusual here. So I guess in the bazaar, we're sort of surviving the heat a little bit. Savota, you're even taller. This is Karakara's Bazaar. Garuda Town is still a fair distance southwest of here. If you're headed there, you should consider resting a bit. Though you are a Vo. Even if you make it to town, you won't be able to get in. All the same, the Divine Beast is kicking up a storm right now, so I don't recommend going to Garuda Town. Garuda Town? Oh. Garuda Town is, is to the southwest. It's the biggest town in the area. It's famous for trade and also for staying active in the, and vibrant all night long. However, there is a law forbidding Vo, males, from entering the city. Oh, so it's not just Hylians, it's males in general. Interesting, hmm. Divine Beast? Mm -hmm. You don't know about the Divine Beast, Vanaboris? Supposedly, it is the guardian deity for the Gerudo people, but it has suddenly started acting up while, up a while back. There's nothing more we can do to stop it either. It's protected by a fierce sandstorm and intense lighting or lightning. Though it hasn't yet, it could easily head towards Gerudo Town or the Oasis. I do my best to keep an eye on it from here. Thank you. Ha, huh? <laughs> I don't need any thanks. This is my job after all. You know, the desert is hot during the day and cold during the night. I'll, it'll take the energy out of you in no time. <laughs> I find it funny, we're just sitting here in our underwear. We might want to put some clothes back on. If you, play, if you plan to head out into the desert, make sure you're prepared. Okay. Uh, I'm not whatsoever. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this again. We look good in this. Uh, oh, okay, there's a uh, a Goron. Goron and Gerudos, I get mixed up all the time. Let me take a good little swim here. Just wash myself off really quickly. The running through the desert. Does it not go away? Yeah. Strayed. I'm watching the sandstorm. Want to join me? Sandstorm? Oh. Sandstorms are pretty common out in the desert. If you get caught in one, you'll get lost for sure but I hear that sandstorm over there will die down in for a few hours each day, clearing a path. I want to visit the huge tower, but the sandstorm is in the way, so I'll just sit here and wait for it to die down. 
I'll keep that in mind. And hey, friend, long time no see. Yeah. Oh, we meet again. What are you looking for? Are you selling? What have you got? I'm sure I have something you'll find useful. Arrows, uh, how many do you have? Uh, all of them, that'll be 24, 120 rupees, I'll take it. Uh, and then, you only have one of the arrow times 10. Okay, oh sorry, fresh out of that, okay. Uh, that's it, see ya, thanks for the arrows. Totally worth it. I definitely wanna buy new armor soon, but arrows are important for the day to day. Oh, are you a Rito? You are, hello. Hi. Hello there. But before I say any more, have we met before? I came here from Rito Village. I've been there. Oh. Wait, yes, yeah, I accidentally pressed it twice. Yes, Rito Village, far to the north of here. It's a modest village on the Tabantha frontier. I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try to earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot here during the day. It's been tough to work up the, the will to go any farther. I would like to see what Gerudo Town looks like, even if I can't go inside. It's just so hot. I heard there's an elixir that can help beat the heat. It's made from insects with the cooling effects and monster parts, but they don't seem to be selling the elixir anywhere. I've heard insects with these cooling effects live in the cold parts of the Gerudo Highlands, but, well, the monsters there are rough, to say the least, so I'm not having a lot of success getting, there my, getting myself motivated. Hmm, so sorry to hear that, an ice guy. So, what is that though? The minute, okay, guy, of the Karakar Bazaar needs a cooling elixir to beat the heat. I have that, I think, unless it's different. Like maybe there's different kinds of heating elixir, or cooling elixirs, right? Cause like I have fireproof. I guess fireproof is different from cooling. Yeah, it prevents your body from catching on fire. Did I talk to you? Yes, I did. You were the lady who can't find a mate. I'm sorry. Uh, How are you doing? Hmm? She's reading. Oh, Vasa. oops, sorry, Fazak. Uh, I want to sell, I want to buy. What do you, oh. I only sell arrows. Ooh, they're on the counter to your left. If you're looking for something else, try Gerudo Town. Oh, right, fall aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Well, thanks for rubbing it in. Hmm? Did you need something else? Goodbye. Oh. So, she does sell arrows indeed for a better price than the dude outside. Gosh darn it. Five rupees for one arrow though, ooh. I already have 36 for right now. Um. I'll leave it be. Hello. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you like that. Savak. That divine beast, it feels like it gets a little bit closer every day. I wonder how long it'll be until I can get back to Gerudo Town. Mm. When I say divine beast, I'm talking about the giant thing roaming around the desert. It's been kicking up bad sandstorms and apparently it'll blast you with lightning if you get too close. Oh. The thought of getting zapped is terrifying. I can't risk traveling to Gerudo Town. There's a town to the southwest made up of almost entirely Gerudo. It's the largest settlement in these parts. It's got a lively market and a canteen. The town's active from morning to night. Mm. But, well, they have a rule that, that'll that affect you guys aren't allowed in. Uh, no foe may enter, they say. Okay. And then aren't you the person we just met? You look very similar to oh. the treasure hunter. Kachu. <laughs> We've lost a lot of business ever since the Divine Beast started stomping her out in the desert. The sound of the Divine Beast walking might be loud, but the beds are still comfy. Do you want to stay? Uh, oh, that's a lot of money. What makes it soft? Oh. The soft bed has been carefully crafted by Cuckoo Feathers. It's designed to leave you full of energy when you wake. So what do you think? Uh, actually, never mind. It's a work. Guess that means goodbye. Anything else I can see or do around here? Can I break this pot? Nope. My sledgehammer is badly damaged, oh no. I need that to not be badly damaged. Um. Okay, well, I think I've talked about just about, to just about everybody. It seemed like there was a uh, normal Hylian over there. I gotta remember that humans and Hylians are different from what I see. At least in this game where there are no humans. It's Hylians. Uh, so I gotta keep that in mind. Anything of interest up here? I suppose not. At least a good spot where I could start, you know, gliding. Cause where's Gerudo Village? I suppose there. Uh, so if I wanted to get there in one piece, I might want to get to the colder parts, but to do that, I'd have to go this way, correct? So there's a number of options here. I would love to hear what you guys think I should do first. But uh, first I'll talk to you. Yeah. Hey, um, you're, 
A traveler. Oh, oh I see. Well, we're merchants. Mer we? We wanted to make it to Gerudo Town to sell our goods, but we were stopped before we could go in. They only let women into that town. They think we came all the way out here. Our leader went to Gerudo Town to try to figure out how he can get inside, Aww. but he hasn't come back yet. I imagine he isn't having a ton of luck. Oh, that's sad to hear. Darn it. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have used that then. Oh, lizards, lizards, I want some. Oh, they're gone. Okay then. I mean, you seem to be the last person I haven't talked to up here. Uh, hello. Mm. That sandstorm, they say it stops for a few hours a day, but hasn't let up ever since, even a little since I've been watching. Rumor has it an ancient civilization hid a treasure inside that sandstorm. I've been here for days, waiting for the storm to settle down so I can nab it. I just hope it wasn't a bad lead. Wait, who did you say you were again? Everybody's so tall around here. The eye of the sandstorm. So do we have to wait for it to die down or do we have to take action ourselves? I'm not sure. That sounds like it's all great stuff to find out in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you want to put a video, make sure you comment Zebra Bazaar. So you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.